Thank you very much. Oftentimes on this show, we've talked about bullying and how to stop it. But what happens when you are the one on the receiving end of your child's aggressive behavior? Today, contributing correspondent Jenna Bush Hager is here with more on that. This doesn't sound like a good situation. No, it doesn't. And childhood bullying goes beyond the normal outbursts, leaving some parents feeling helpless and ashamed. But now, there's help. You've probably seen it, or maybe you've experienced it yourself. Kids bullying their parents. From toddlers to teenagers, moments like these can test any parent's patience. According to Sean Grover, author of a new book, When Kids Call the Shots. If they grew up with good structure, limits, and boundaries, they're better able to contain frustration and talk rather than act. What's the difference between being bullied and having a child that goes through the typical teenage angst? Kids always go through test periods where they really want more power than they, than they can manage. He says this usually happens with certain types of parents. The first would be the guilty parent. There's been a divorce, a financial hardship. The parent feels bad for the child, so they start to reward. They don't set limits. The second one would be the anxious parent. It's always worrying, always concerned. And children hear that as, you don't believe in me, you don't trust me. And the third type would be the fix-everything parent. That creates a dependency on the parent, and the child begins to resent them. Martha LeClerc is one of those parents. Growing up, her daughter Natalie, now 15, could do no wrong. No issues, no problem, no terrible twos whatsoever. After her parents separated, Natalie, then 11, started to act up. She would come home, like, um, really angry and mean. Mm -hmm. Rude, slamming doors. It felt like she was the boss here. Any request, she would say no. She would just find ways to humiliate me. Like she didn't get what she wanted. I started feeling defensive, uh, unsure of myself as a mother. I think that behavior for me made it worse for Natalie. Do you feel like your mom gave you the power to be the parent to bully? Like, I don't know, she could have been stronger and said, like, don't do this, don't do that. I guess she just let it slide. So she didn't really know how to handle it. They both went through counseling, which they say helped change the relationship to what it is today. I would realize, like, this isn't who I am, and, like, I could be nicer, and um, I could change, and I did. Martha says it was love for her daughter that helped her change. What advice do you give to parents who feel like they're being, you know, bullied by their kids? Not to say to their level. But if you have something to say to them, you say it clear, and then you turn your back and you go away and stop it there. So Sean says bullying is usually the symptom of an underlying issue that needs to be addressed, but he says there are things you can do to regain control. First of all, don't give kids everything they want. The more they're given, the less they appreciate it, and the more they demand. Second of all, don't be afraid to be unpopular. All kids want structures, limits, and boundaries. And finally, never let your kid disrespect you. Be firm about behaviors. Make sure that you create a culture of mutual respect. It's that old expression, you're not your kid's best friend, you're your kid's parents. Mm -hmm, exactly, and I think all kids want boundaries. I saw that as a teacher, and even my own child likes time out every once in a while. Yeah, but I know your parents never had to set boundaries <laughs> with you and your sister. No, we were perfectly <laughs> paid. I've heard the stories. Thank you very much. Up next, a new and creative way to make dinner that rushes the ingredients.